Hello investors, so Kathy Wood's ARK Space ETF could be released any day now, and by the looks of it, we might actually have a set date already. Now what we'll be doing today is actually taking a look at 10 potential stocks that could be in the ARK X Space ETF, compared to the Space Mutual Fund managed by ARK in Japan as of the February time period now. So if this is obviously something that interests you, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of this video. Don't forget to smash that like button as well for me guys. Emerge ARC Space Exploration ETF ready for launch. As we can see here by the you know summary, the ARC Space Exploration ETF and Emerge ARC Space Exploration ETF are set to you know list concurrently on Tuesday, March 30th. So plenty of buzz around this product as it is Kathy Wood's first ETF launch in two years. So this is going to be a hot, hot thing to look at. And that could mean that some of these space uh, stocks could start to trend on up on Monday and Tuesday and the rest of the week to see until we find out, you know, which one of them are actually in the um, ETF. Um, obviously, not all of them are going to be in the ETF, but some of them could be. And a lot of uh, stocks are going to have some potential to have a little bit of a run up on this news. So let's take a look at 10 potential holdings that could be in this ARK ETF. Let's dive on into the first one. So the first one right here, um, according to their list, is going to be um, SPCE, Virgin Galactic Holdings, Inc. So this one is currently trading at $29.59. If we take a look here on the one-year chart, it's up about 73%. Now, right here, um, around January 13th, when uh, they announced you know, news that they were going to be you know, starting up a space ETF, this stock you know, had a little run-up all the way for like a couple of weeks, went up to highs of almost $60 per share. Now, if we take a look here, obviously no dividend for this stock. And then the market cap for the company is $7 billion. Um, if we take a look down here to see what the company does. So Virgin Galactic Holdings is an, an integrated aerospace company, develops human space flight for private individuals and researchers in the United States. It also manufactures air and space vehicles. The company's spaceship operations include commercial human sp space flight, flying commercial research, and development payloads into the space. In addition, it engages in the design and development, manufacturing, ground and flight testing, and post-flight maintenance of space flight vehicles. The company was founded in 2017 and is headquartered in New Mexico. So actually, um, SPCE is my number one pick to be in this ETF, in my opinion, obviously. Now, obviously, you guys let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about SPCE? Do you think it's going to be in this um, ETF or not? In my personal opinion, I think that SPCE is going to be one of the top picks to be in that ETF. It has the highest chance, obviously. But that's just my opinion. I, you know, um, it, it might not be in the ETF, but that is my opinion. And we'll, we'll see what happens with this one. The second space stock on this list is going to be Stratasys LTD, ticker symbol SSYS. This one is trading at $24.67. Now, this one for the past year, it's up about 48%. And once again, once that news broke out, you know, in the beginning of January, this stock continued to trend on up higher as well, up to about $54 per share, pulled back down. Now, with this one, market cap is only at about $1.59 billion. There is no dividend for this company, and the volume was at around 1.4 million shares traded as of Friday. Now, let's take a quick look at what the company does. So, so Stratasys uh, provides connected and polymer-based 3D printing solutions. It offers 3D printing systems such as the polyjet printer and then many other you know 3d printing systems so they have a lot of you know things to go on so the company also provides 3d printing materials including approximately fdm spool based uh, flement materials polyjet cartridges based resin materials non-color digital materials and color variants to for use in the 3d printers and production system in addition it offers the grabcad print platform that offers job programming scheduling uh, monitoring, order management, and analysts across various 3D printing technologies. Further, the company operates Thingiverse.com, an online community for sharing downloadable and digital 3D designs. Its products and services are primarily used in the automotive, aerospace, medical, dental, educational, and even the consumer goods market. Now, the company sells its products through a network of resellers and independent sale agent, uh, you know, worldwide. So this one, another interesting one to, you know, add on to your list. But, you know, all of these are going to have some ties into the space, uh, you know, field, I guess you could say, in one way or another. Some of them might even look weird, in my opinion, where you're going to say, how is this company, you know, tied into the space sector? But most of them are. So this is just the second one. Now let's get into the next one. The third stock on this list is going to be a hot one right here. So ticker symbol TRMB, Trimble Inc. So this one is trending at $74.70. This one's actually been on a nice, you know, trend on up. 
It was down here at lows of about $27 about a year ago. Now it's over, you know, $70, hit highs of $77. So in the past year, this stock is up 143%, which is very, very nice. It has a forward PE of about 31 right now. Market cap is at around 18.75 billion. So decent side market cap for this company. Now, if we take a look down here, Trimble provides technology solutions that enable professional and field mobile workers to enhance or, or transform their work process world, worldwide. It operates through four segments, building and infrastructure, geospatial, resource and utilities, and the transportation. Now, the building and infrastructure segment offer fields and office uh, software for route selection and design, systems to guide and control construction equipment, systems to monitor, track, and manage assets, equipment, and workers, and, you know, and many more. You guys can come on this website and read, you know, the whole list of what the company does but once again you know the company is tied in they do many you know great things that could be definitely you know uh, with the navigation be uh, tied up with the space so definitely another one that you definitely want to add on into your list because it's a hot 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 space stock that could potentially be on a arc x you know etf so add this one to your watch list as well guys at the number four spot we have ticker symbol irdm iridium communications inc so this one is up about 64 percent in the past year or so which is still good it had highs here about 54 dollars per share so this one um if we take a look it has a market cap of about five billion and if we take a look at what the company actually does we can see right here that you know this company provides mobile voice and data communication services and products to businesses the united states and the foreign governments non-governmental organizations and consumers worldwide the company offers offers postpaid mobile voice and data satellite communications, prepaid mobile voice satellite communication, post to talk, broadband data, and internet of things. Now, if we take a look down here, uh, the company actually does specialize communication solutions for high value individuals, mobile communications and data uh, devices for the military and intelligence agencies. So this is right here, such as secure satellite handsets and well as the netted voice message and paging services. So right here we see, you know, different things on how it's actually connected to the, you know, space sector and how it could be potentially on this list as well. So they do a lot of things that have to do with, you know, space and satellites and different things, uh, communications that we have to keep an eye out on so this is definitely another one that could potentially be on that list you guys let me know so far what you guys think about this list so far if you made it this far into the video go ahead and smash that like button for me let's aim for 100 plus likes in the first 24 hours of this video being up let's see if we can get to 100 likes before the etf actually gets launched into the market if you guys are interested in this type of content and want to see what's going to happen in the future go ahead and subscribe to the channel turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time we make a new video if you guys want sign up for Weibo. there's going to be a link in the description get your two free stocks valued at up to $1,800. And as always, leave a comment below. What stocks do you think are going to be in this space ETF? Are some of these going to be in it or not? All right, guys. So now we're coming in at the number five spot for the space ETF potential. Uh, it's going to be JD.com, ticker symbol JD. This one is trading at $82 per share. This one is up about 95% in the past year or so. It was trading down here in the low $40 per share. Came up to highs of about $100 per share. Then pulled back down a little bit. If we take a look here at the forward PE, it's about 41. Market cap at 127.35 billion. So this one right here is actually a pretty decent sized company. It's over a hundred billion sized company, which is great. So it's not some small, you know, made up company that we're just looking at. So right here, this one operates as an e-commerce company and retail infrastructure service for a rider in the People's Republic of China. It operates in two segments, JD Retail and New Business. The company offers home appliances, mobile handsets, and other digital products, desktop, laptops, and other computers, as well as uh, printers and other office equipment, furniture and household goods, apparels, cosmetics, personal care items, and pet products, women's shoes, jewelry, luxury goods, etc., etc. But like we said, this one right here is another hot one that could potentially be in this ETF as it is in the Japanese, you know, um, ETF mutual fund that they have. So JD, definitely want to keep your eyes out on. Now this one, I don't think it's, um, you know, as good as some of the others that we have on this list, but it is actually included in the Japanese, uh, you know, mutual fund. So that is why we're going to be discussing JD on this list to see what happens and if it's actually on it or not. At the number six spot, we have ticker symbol KTOS, Kratos Defense and Security Solutions. So obviously this is a defense and security company. So that's why, you know, it has the potential. Um, this one's up about 78% in 2021 so far. Well, in the past one year, I guess you could say. So this one, uh, PE of 72, it's a little bit high right there. Uh, market cap is very low actually at about 3.21 billion. So low market cap on this company. But let's take a look at what they do as well. So this one operates as a government contractor for the U.S. Department of Defense. 
The company operates through two segments, Kratos Government Solutions and Unmanned Systems. The Kratos Government Solutions segment offers microwave electronic products, space training and cybersecurity warfare, satellite communication, C5 ISR modular system, turbine technologies and defense and rocket support systems. So you guys can definitely see why this one is on there, right? The unmanned system segment provides unmanned aerial systems and un unmanned ground and seaborne systems. It serves as national security related agencies, the Department of Defense, intelligence agencies and classified agencies as well, as well as the international government agency as in domestic and international commercial customers. So this one, definitely you can see why it could be tied in because it is a you know defense company. So definitely one that could very, very highly be in this ETF in my opinion. It at least in the top 10 you know picks that they could have potentially in one of their holdings so ktos another one to add to your radar the number seven pick you guys should definitely know this company you should be familiar with this one it's one of the top security companies you know in the united states especially um it's a uh, known so it's gonna be lmt lockheed martin corporation big company right here big player currently trading at 364 dollars per share in the past year this one's actually pretty and just been you know trading sideways only up about four percent in the past year or so so it hasn't been moving much if you take a look at the five-year chart obviously the company is up but in the one-year chart we're only up about four percent which is very very, very weak it has a lot of potential pe is only at about 13 right now if we take a look it has a dividend of 2.85 percent which is actually great pays out about ten dollars and forty cents uh which is a nice dividend i mean it actually has a dividend that's a really good stock to have in a portfolio as a defense play market cap is right over 100 billion value which is great now let's take a look at what you know lockheed martin does so this is going to be a security and aerospace company engages in the research design development manufacturer integration and sustainment of technology system, products, and service worldwide. It operates through the four segments, aeronautics, uh, missiles, and fire control, rotary and mission systems, and space. So the aeronautics uh, segment offers combat and air mobility, air force, um, unmanned air vehicles, and related technologies. The missile and fire control segment provides air and missile defense systems, tactical missiles, and air-to-ground precision strike weapon systems, logistics, fire control systems, mission operating support, readiness engineering support and integration services manned and unmanned ground vehicles and energy management solutions the rotary and mission system segment offers military and commercial helicopter ships and submarine mission and combat systems mission systems and sensors for rotary and fixed wing aircraft sea and land based mission defense systems the combat ships uh, simulation and training services and unmanned systems and technologies it also supports government customers in cybersecurity and de delivers communications and command and control capabilities throughout mission solutions for defense applications. So obviously, you know, the space uh, segment right here offers satellites, space transportation systems, strategic advanced strike and defense missile systems, and classified systems and services in support of national security systems. Uh, you know, obviously this is a huge part of it. So that's why Lockheed Martin is definitely another one that could potentially be on this list. In my opinion, I think it's actually, once again, one of the top picks to be on this list, just like we talked about, you know, the first talk on this list. Next up, we have ticker symbol PRLB Proto Labs. So this one is training at $120 per share. If we take a look in the past year, this one is up about 56%, hit high saver $250, $280. So, you know, it's actually had about a 50% loss in the last few weeks so this one right here pe of 57 market cap of 3.32 billion so kind of a smaller company in my opinion together with its uh, subsidiaries operates as an e-commerce driven digital manufacturer of custom prototypes and on-demand products parts in the world the company offers injection molding computer numerical control machines uh, three-dimensional 3d printing so as you can see here right now you know it's a 3d printing uh, company it has a lot of you know things going on with that um you know with the molding so definitely another play that could potentially be in this space etf as we obviously need to make you know better spaceships and different products uh, to send out to space so this one could potentially be on this list uh, not one of my favorite ones on this list but it is on the japanese version so let's take a look at the next one so the next one on our list is going to be ticker symbol hrs which is going to be l3 harris technologies inc currently trading at 169 dollars per share it's actually about yeah pretty break even for the past year or so this one is a american technology company defense contractor and information technology service provider that produces c6 isr systems and products wireless equipment tactical radios and much more so definitely another hot play this one uh, has a little bit higher potential in my opinion to be on this list uh, if we take a look here at the company, you know, it's doing pretty decent. I mean, it's had its ups and downs, but it is staying steadily. If we take a look here at the five-year chart, I mean, it was trading at around $68, went to highest here of over $200. So 
pretty decent company in my opinion and i think it could definitely be on this list as well this last one the number 10 pick and we're gonna have some bonus picks as well so stick around on this video but this one you might think how how is deer and company on this list well ticker symbol de this one is trading at 372 dollars per share in the past year it's over up over 167 percent this one pe is of a 23 with a dividend of uh three dollars 60 cents right under one percent dividend market cap right over 100 billion so 116 billion and if we take a look at the company let's take a look if we take a look uh this one is uh you know together with its subsidiaries manufacturers and distributes various equipment worldwide the company operates through the three segments agriculture and turf construction and forestry and financial services now this one might not seem like it you know it fits in this area but it does have different machinery you know and different things that could potentially be in this segment as well now i know it looks crazy guys when you see it from the outside but this one is definitely one on the list and could potentially be on you know the actual etf list now if we take a look at the actual uh you know chart that we're seeing actually so this is the guy on twitter that provided us with this uh, list of 10 stocks that are in the mutual fund managed by ARK in Japan. And the date is as of January 29, 2021. These are all the ticker symbols. These are all the stocks that we, you know, listed in this video. And so I can't read Japanese, but I'm guessing right here is going to see the weight, you know, of the actual stock in the portfolio. So about 7.2% of it is going to be in Virgin Galactic Holdings. And then we have the next one, the next one, the next one after that. And Deer & Co. is right here. Deer & Company is on this list at the number 10 stock. I know it seems weird, but they do have a lot of things that they're tied in that could potentially bring them onto this list in the actual ARK X uh, Space ETF in the United States that's going to be coming out on Tuesday as of, uh, you know, the information that we're seeing on the list and, uh, you know, the internet. Now, guys, those are the 10 stocks that are on the Japanese list, but I have one bonus stock that I think could personally be in this etf in my opinion and it's going to be ticker symbol maxr maxr technologies inc so this one currently trading at 37 dollars 64 cents it was up about five percent on friday in the past year it's up about 239 percent it was trading at lows of about eight dollars per share hit highs of about 58 dollars per share now this one huge pe you know 181 very you know high um, it has a small yield of 0.11 percent Market cap is right at about 2.7 billion, so a smaller company. Let's take a look. So this one provides earth intelligence and space infrastructure solutions in the United States, Asia, South America, Europe, the Middle East, Australia, Canada, and internationally. It operates through earth intelligence and space infrastructure. The earth intelligence segment offers earth imagery products, including ortho certified imagery, imagery base map, 3D and elevation and information products, and secure watch and subscription offering that provides online access to imagery and geospatial intelligence platform. So it has a lot to do, you know, the space segment. This one is actually one of my favorite picks, in my opinion, from my, you know, point of view. Obviously, we have, you know, some of the other ones, like the number one pick that we had in the Japanese list. But this one is actually a very hot one. And I think it has a high chance of being on this list, in my opinion. You guys let me know in the comments below. Do you think that this one could potentially be on this list or not? Now, guys, obviously, so these are 11 stocks that I'm looking at right now that could potentially be on this list, in my opinion, and just, you know, what we saw from the Japanese and mutual fund. Um, you guys also share your comments below. Which one do you think could potentially be in it? Which one do you think is definitely not going to be in it? I guess we're going to have to wait and find out on Tuesday to see which stocks are actually going to be, you know, in it. Uh, but it might actually take a few days for us to actually find out what holdings are in the company. Maybe by the end of the week, we will know. So... I will definitely be covering that in another video, so stick around on the channel for that. Smash that like button. Let's aim for 100 plus likes by Tuesday on this video. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Leave a comment below, obviously, letting me know which space stocks you think are going to be in the ETF. If you guys want to sign up for Weibo, get your two free stocks valued at up to $1,800. Links are going to be in the description for that as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this type of content. If you do, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.